One thing you need to know about the Arizona Outlaws. Never underestimate Tito Moss. Yeah, boy! He may be a shrimp, but they don't call him Mighty Moss for nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Never, ever turn your back on that little fucker. Yeah, baby! Lift off. The Cincinnati Crusaders' best player is one hardcore dude, named Kwasi Mbutabe, born in America but takes his African roots seriously. Treats every down like a battle, every game like a war. And there's no denying it. Kwasi's a warrior. This week's game's against the Washington Redhawks. If we expect to win, we're gonna have to shut down Jacob Williams. I got more stuff for you. Don't let this guy get loose in our backfield. Otherwise, this could be a real long day. That ain't the last time, baby. Ain't no way I'm allowing that bullshit! We're playing Chicago this week. That means we're going up against Shane Spain, two-time league MVP. Toughest guys on the planet. Don't know how he keeps getting up time after time. Man, you boys better be up. But the man is a winner. For the magazine cover. There's only one player on the Baltimore Bearcats we need to talk about. Bruno Battaglia. Don't fuck with me! Yeah! Boom! No need to sugarcoat this. Battaglia is an asshole. We have to watch each other's backs out there. Or half our team will end up on injured reserve. Suck on that! This week we take on Carolina. Say hello to College Boys competition for Rookie of the Year, Grant Tanner. He's got great skills, but the spotlight's a little too hot. You know what I'm saying? Word is, you hit him once, he gets happy feet. So put his ass on the ground. Who says we can't get a gun? This week, we go up against one of the most potent offenses in the league, the Minnesota Reapers. Tony Forbes might be the best running back in the league. One thing's for sure, he's the luckiest. Guy's never been injured his whole career. Not once. And it ain't cause he's running scared. Sometimes I think he's got a death wish. You think you can bring it? Let's give him his wish. Lots of players in this league are members of the God Squad. Then there's San Diego's Ezekiel Freeman. The man talks smack like he's preaching a sermon. Guess he forgot the part about turning the other cheek. Monday through Saturday, the guy's no different than the rest of us. Sundays, he's an avenging angel. I put the fear of God in you, didn't Las Vegas stresses the team concept. However, their best player, Kelvin Diggs, stresses the me concept. If he doesn't get his 25 carries, he goes ballistic. But if he gets in the end zone, watch out. When he scores on you, he'll call your mama to tell her about it. There's only one guy in this league as mean as Quentin Sands, Tyrell Price of the Kansas City Crossfire. I don't know if he was an abused child or what, but the guy's got an anger problem. Thing is, he can't keep it on the field. Look at me! But he'll be on the field against us, so make sure he doesn't take his anger out on you. We expect to beat Detroit. Our special teams are gonna have to step up, because Cookie Wallace can hurt you every time he touches the ball. They don't call him a game breaker for nothing. Move in the sticks, baby. I got the superpowers. But when things go wrong, Yo, Cookie turns into the, the excuse maker. The Let's make sure this cookie crumbles. When you play against New England, you better be ready to tune out a lot of smack. Bonnie Triande flaps his gums like it's going out of style. Bonnie fucking Triande. Best part is that shit works. Yeah. Try. 
Don't let this asshole get into your head. If you do, we're fucked. Next up, we got Seattle. It's gonna be tough to throw on them because of Chad Longstreet. Put me down for six points! That kid's damn good. But not as good as he thinks. Yeah, believe it! We can't outrun him, but we can beat him with size and strength. So get physical with him. That'll open up the passing game. Don't you run away from me! This week we play Dallas, two-time defending champs. The reason they're winners? Julius Williams. I'm telling you, this guy is sick. You want to hate him, but you can't. You want to stop him, but you can't do that either. He's just too damn good. This is the game we've all been waiting for. The New York fucking nightmare. Led by that asshole, Quentin Sands. Guy should be in jail. Instead, he's the face of the league. Remember what happened last year. Now it's payback time. 